Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another Smash 4 set with Areem. This time, Areem is going up against Brosinex in some online Smash. I wonder if lag is going to be a factor here. Anyway, Brosinex is playing Ryu as Areem is back with the regular Ike. Both of them able to get some nice strings on each other right off the bat. Green going in for the classic V-tilt forward air, able to extend that string a little bit with that platform. Nice next forward air right there. Brosin X able to get the down B, not able to follow it up though. Unfortunately facing the wrong direction is what it looked like there. Got some up airs coming in from Brosin X right here. That's up air, right? Yeah, that's up air. Um, <laughs> up air? Yes, yes it is. I need to be more sure of myself. Nice little string of forward airs right there. One more would have spiked Areem straight into the abyss, probably. Uh, unfortunately, Brosnex couldn't risk going off stage with that. I think that was actually a good choice right there. Nice little double jab to Shoryuken right there. Areem able to make it back to the stage, though. Brosnex trying to go for the jab. Areem shielding it, able to get the grab up throw into up air, taking Brosnex's first stock. And Reem now sitting at 115% means that Brosinex should be able to get a kill here uh, pretty soon. I mean, any like if he gets a if he gets a grab and is able to follow it up, Reem's stock is definitely gone. Back air right there is what I believe that was. Goes for the Hadouken. Not a bad plan, especially if Reem is going to try and side B, but Reem flies straight over him. Good choice right there. Another back air is that was, yeah. Another back air is going to take Reem's first stock. I need to look at Ryu more. That's, that's for the future, though. <laughs> and Brosinex able to get... Wow, just a nice string of hits right there, uh, following it out from the down B. Another down B, not able to hit Areem with it this time, though. And now Areem, weaving in and out, waiting for his chance to strike. Brosinex with another down B. And Areem able to get the U-tilt. Follows it up with the up air, now trying to just juggle Brosinex. But doesn't need to any longer as Brosinex lands on the right platform and Irene is able to get the forward air taking his stock. That's the thing about Town and City in Smashville, it can take you even closer to the blast zones than the ledge does if you're if you're on one of the platforms. Definite I'm not would that have killed from the ledge is my question. I, wasn't, I didn't keep track of the specific percent. I believe it was above 100. Very solid neutral air right off the bat from Brosinex right there, taking Reem up to 15%. Reem, though, able to get the up throw to Nair. Brosinex responding with the side B. Um, I unfortunately don't remember the actual name of that move. I'm sorry. I don't play Street Fighter. I should play Street Fighter, though. It looks super fun. Nice little Hadouken to keep Areem away from him there, and he's able to make it back with Shoryuken. Trying to spike Areem right there, and it almost works out, but Areem is both able to recover and do a little bit of damage with that up B. Areem, though, re both of them just jumping around each other there for a second. Brosinex res responding by recovering very low right there, but Areem does not care. He's able to get the forward smash, taking Brosinex's first stock. Areem now at 88%, though. A few more hits. Wow, not even a few more hits. A single jab to Shoryuken combo is going to take Areem's first stock, and now they are evened up again very quickly. Good play there from Brosinex, able to get the down B as well. Almost taking Areem up to ridiculous levels of percentage right there. Areem only able- oh, wow, Areem only able to get a getup attack so far in this stock. Now able to finally get in with a forward air though, keeping the shield up right there. Uh, obviously needs to play a bit on the defensive right now, at a much higher percent than Brosinex. And especially at this percentage, uh, Brosinex could use a single jab to Shoryuken, or even just a few more aerials probably, to take Areem's final stock and the game. Goes for the jab at the ledge right there, just in case Areem gets the normal getup. Nice little double jab to Nair combo. Irene now at 132%. Almost any move will do it here. And right as I say that, double jab to Shoryuken. Brosinex is able to take Irene's stock and hits a balloon at the same time. So that means Brosinex is, <laughs> is winning the balloon meta right now. The balloon meta is of great importance, if, if you don't know. It certainly is. But that puts them at 1-1. One to one. This is a best of 5 if you can see the layout down there. But they are both sticking with their characters now on Smashville. Uh, they were on Smashville last game, weren't they? <laughs> Whoops. Alright, wow, lots of down tilts right there into a side B. Very, just very interesting. Uh, D-tilt. D-tilt's really 
It's good at that, just straining into itself. It's like Mario's up tilt. Both of them sitting at exactly the same percentage there for a second, but a down throw to Nair is going Oh, wow. Another down throw into a Hadouken. Very interesting. Uh, I, in case it isn't obvious, I haven't seen much Ryu play in the past. There, there hasn't been a large quantity of Ryu on this channel. It's just a very fun matchup to watch so far. Just both these heavy hitters. Uh, just, just very interesting. Ike definitely has a little more range than Ryu, but Ryu just has so much mobility. That said, though, Reem almost able to get the down throw to you air combo right there. Going for the jab. Doesn't go off stage to follow him. Again, not a terrible idea with both. Both Ryu and Ike have struggle from somewhat exploitable recovery, so going off stage may not be the greatest idea. Ooh, and Brosinex able to get the down B right there, leaving Areem completely open for the Shoryuken that takes Areem's first stock. But Brosinex at 97%. What? Okay. Well, Brosinex now at 106%, but is able to take Areem up to 37 with that single down B. Tries going for another one. Areem blocks it this time. Wow, just keeps going for these. Lots of down Bs coming out from Brosinex right now. Irene definitely playing very defensively, but is able to take advantage and punish the uh, the shielded... I believe that was a either forward tilt or forward smash with the U-tilt right there. And taking Brosinex's first stock in this game. Irene, though, at 71%, Brosinex could definitely take the stock with a good string of hits right here. Irene, though, able to get the down throw to forward air right there, but Brosinex responding with his own series of hits, able to side beat the balloon right there, still winning the balloon meta. <laughs> and Irene able to recover, both of them going, a, a, I mean, a little deeper than I'd be comfortable with with these characters. Um, but Irene able to get the jab. Brosinex definitely at a huge advantage right here, as one hit of almost any kind could take Irene's stock right here. Irene trying to go for the uh, spike right there. Tries going for the detail to up air combo. Doesn't hit the balloon, for shame. <laughs> and Irene able to get the detail, able to get the forward air, almost taking Brosinex, but pick the eye right there, getting away from the stage. Able to sure you can back up to the stage, and now it is anyone's game. A solid hit from either of them. Irene using the down smash, a, a rather large hitbox on there. As Brosinex completely not expecting a move from a turned around Irene. Losing the stock, and Areem takes game 3, currently 2-1 in Areem's favor. Sorry, just had to just had to take a drink there. Lots of commentating going on, in case, in case you couldn't tell. Okay. Anyway, Areem able to start off with a forward air. Brosen X responding with his own air to jab. Not jab, forward kill. Areem able to get the grab, not able to follow it up with the aerial, however. Brosinex using that jab to Hadouken right there. Arim with another grab, up throw to Nair, and tries using the forward smash. Brosinex though able to keep it from doing anything to him. Well, able to keep it from having any knockback with down B right there, and able to get a little bit of damage on Arim. But Arim with the Nair to dash attack right there. Interesting. Brosinex still able to recover from that, but at 96%, Arim will be able to take a stock pretty soon here with a few solid hits. Brosinex almost taking out Areem's shield with the down B right there, if I if I saw that correctly. That shield got tiny. Areem with the up throw, tries to get the up air. Brosinex staying in the air though, able to get that that red hot again. There's, there's a proper name for that. I am sorry that I currently do not remember it. Both of them at very high percentages right here. A little bit of rage, a little bit of death. Is gonna be just gonna be coming around. That ether hitting through the stage just I, I I think it's ridiculous that moves like that can just go through the stage. Then again, I have down tilted someone through the stage and they just they just stage spiked and died, so legends have weird physics. That's all there is to take from that. Both of them once again at very high percentages. Both of them playing very defensive, but Irene just getting shielded on that dash attack, getting punished for it. Meaning that Brosinex is now a stock up, and is able to get the down B into a few nares right there. Down throw, tries to ball it up with the up air. Another down B, but Irim ain't having that as he hits him out of it, and then hits him with that up tilt to take his first stock. 
but a few nares and I believe four nares from Brosinex right there means that Arim is now at 66%. Brosinex sitting at 20. Arim with the up air to forward air. I'm sorry, up, sm up, up, up throw to forward air. And now it is, it is definitely still anyone's game. Both of these players have had pretty ridiculous comebacks. Almost taking out Arim's shield with a down B again. But Arim slowly taking Brosinex up to equal percentage with himself. Brosinex almost falling straight into the abyss right there, but able to make it back. Still a little too deep for comfort. And now Irin going in with the jab, waiting it out. Brosinex is dangerous on that platform, but Brosinex is able to get in and punish Irin's whiffed forward smash with a Shoryuken, taking Irin's second stock and game four, putting them at 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, game five. Very... Just, I I am loving this matchup right now. I don't know about you guys, but, like, highlight of the set, just this matchup, it's just a great, it's just a great time. I'm loving it. Alright, so, both of them staying with the same characters on the same stage. Trading blows right now, Arim able to get the detailed forward air. Tries following it up with U-Air, Brosinex trying to keep it away with the down B. Able to side B back to the stage. More down Bs, able to come in with the aerial to detail. Very interesting. Nareem trying to dash attack. Brosinex just jumping around every there though, uh, keeping his distance. Nareem though, able to catch that whiffed move. Tries going for the up smash right there. Brosinex though, punishing it with the Hadouken and following it up with a few solid hits into a jab detail. Sure, you can not quite killing Nareem at this percentage. Nareem with the up throw goes for the side smash. Brosinex absorbs it with the down B. Meaning that Arim will not get the kill here. A double sure you can coming up from Brosinex is going to take Arim's first stock. But Brosinex's first stock could just as easily get lost in the next few seconds. Brosinex coming in with all of these aerials and tilts. Able to come in with these back airs, just keeping the distance, but Arim is able to shield the last one and grab Brosinex regardless. Not able to follow it up. Trying to find a kill in here, but Brosinex gets the spike with the forward air, meaning that Brosinex takes game five and the set. Very good set from both of them. Once again, this matchup is just so fun to watch for me. Um, highlight of the set, I mean, the spike at the end was pretty hype. I ain't gonna lie. That was a sweet spike, but you wanna, you wanna just an overall highlight? I just love this matchup immediately. Like... Wow, whoa, my voice... <gasps> my voice is dying! <laughs> I think I'm done commentating for the night. But regardless, I certainly hope you enjoyed this set. Leave your own highlights down in the comments below. Any moments you thought were particularly interesting. Also, go ahead and leave any critique down in the comments below, as I am always trying to improve from both an entertainment and an informational aspect, and will welcome any critique in helping me to do so. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I certainly hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Golden Warrior, signing out.